Hi, Scott Lackman from 450 TV. Uh, today's episode, viewers, we're catching up with Karen George, Property Management Director of Richardson Rents Real Estate, talking all things rentals and uh, tenancy accommodation. Good day, Karen. Hi. Um, now, Karen, we want to catch up because there's a few things happening around uh, rentals and tenancies in Queensland. Um, could we start with uh, perhaps, I've heard a lot of talk about smoke alarms and smoke alarm legislation changing. Uh, what's the update there? So smoke alarm legislation will come into place in 2020, which will include all rooms of a property having interconnected smoke alarms. So all bedrooms and lounge rooms instead of just the living areas at the moment. And that's going to have a big impact safety-wise for tenants but from a landlord point of view that'll be a large outlay of cost to um, have them all installed connect them through an electrician um, and then have them serviced on a regular basis okay um, we've had people uh, talking and and maybe new tenancies to Queensland they've come from a different area and they're requesting why isn't there smoke alarms in each room what would your response be to a tenant at the moment so our current legislation is one smoke alarm per level of the property certainly it is safe to have it outside the bedroom area and the kitchen and cooking areas um, so this interconnected new rule for every rental um, will take effect in two years' time, and I think a lot of owners are building towards that. Yep. Um, another big thing happening in Queensland, there's going to be a change or there's a review, review um, of the, you can say it, the... The Residential the res Tenancies and Rooming Act. Residential so. Tenancies and Rooming Act. We call it the pretty much the Tenancy Act. Yep. Um, so tell us about the changes and reviews that are getting discussed at the moment. So the RTRA Act is what we call it. And that's the legislation that we all work under in real estate that says what you can do and what you can't do. That's the rules we live by. Um, the on the 30th of September, uh, the government announced that they wanted everyone to have a review of the Act and have a say by the 30th of November. Um, they wanted all the stakeholders, so tenants, landlords and property managers, to have an input. So if there is some part of the Act that isn't working, let's look at it and let's have a say and then let decisions be made by that. Um, could you suggest some of the items that are up for discussion? Um, so from a tenant point of view, there's issues about being able to put um, picture hooks up on the walls without the owner's permission, um, having pets without the owner's permission. Um, and then from a landlord point of view, there's things like there is a notice to leave without grounds at the moment. And sometimes that's really scary because a tenant can be issued that notice and have no idea why. Um, so from a landlord point of view, there may just be ways that we work around that, that they can give a notice to leave, it's still their property, but there is some communication or talking about that or, or longer note time periods um, so that tenants don't feel like they're just being pushed around every six months. We want them to feel included, um, want them to feel comfortable, they want them to treat it like their own. That works for the landlord as well as a tenant. And I think all this review is just letting everyone have a say about what's important to them. Yep. Uh, viewers, we're going to have some links after this video, uh, one to the how you can vote on the reform. Uh, we're going to have some links uh, regarding the um, legislation with smoke alarms in 2020. Uh, just some information links there, but um, Karen and I'd, I'd say the same, I encourage you to jump online, have a look at that review because um, even down to the simplest of things like um, a tenant's opinion versus a landlord's opinion, we know it can be very different. Um, if I was a landlord and a tenant asked to have a pet in a property, um, there's discussions around maybe a pet bond on top of your normal four weeks bond. Um, there's a few things like that. Can do that. And some states are all different for that. So we're just talking Queensland legislation. Um, and I think sometimes things are set out of fear. Like I as a tenant are thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get this other rental property because I've got an older dog, but my dog's part of my family. And Scott as a landlord might be saying, well, hang on a minute, because I've had a tenant once who's done the wrong thing, so I'm not gonna trust the next person which is unfair to, the, to everyone involved. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is property managers get in and have a say. This is the industry we're working. Um, I've been doing property management now for 26 years. Um, so I can see both sides and I communi my job is to educate and communicate between those parties. Um, so if you're a property manager and feel that the Act needs some reform in one way or the other, have a say. Um, you know, don't come in a couple of months' time and say, oh, geez, we missed out on that. Mm. Um, this is the opportunity the government's giving. Yeah, excellent. Um, let's talk general rental accommodation in the Caboolture region. Um, 
I know historically we're we're still a growing community. We're um, lots happening. There's there's sometimes a shortage of housing, mm-hmm. and we could see up to maybe you know ten, twelve, fifteen applications per property. Mm-hmm. Is that trend still continuing? Where are we at at the moment with supply and demand of rental properties? I think it's pretty um, pretty even at the moment. So we may be getting three or four applications per property. Um, and keep in mind, owners just want someone who will pay the rent and maintain the property. Mm-hmm. So when we certainly are looking for people that have Centrelink incomes. Um, we're looking for people that have privately rented or Department of Housing rented. Um, we we want to look at everyone fairly and try and find the best thing out of your application to present to an owner to see if you're compatible with each other. Um, again, historically, we're coming into um, December shortly, January. Uh, January's always a... a a crazy time for rental accommodation. Uh, both both sides of the spectrum, uh, people vacating uh, after Christmas and then people looking to come into the area to start afresh with schools, etc., relocating in January. Um, in January. So um, that's still the case? That, that's absolutely the case. And that happens because a lot of people move to get their kids settled into school if you're a family. Um, it also happens for job transfers. We're, we've got so much business happening in our shire that people are still coming from Sydney and are still interested in coming to the area and securing something. And a lot of job transfers will happen in January. Yep. So um, most leases, if you're a proactive tenant and you sometimes do get job transfers, I'd be looking at keeping your lease around that January time. Um, my tip to a tenant would be start looking now. Look at the areas you like, look at what rent you expect to pay for a property and when it does come online, be really proactive with going to the open home, having your, all your information ready with your application so that you can show the real estate you're keen, you're prepared and you're going to be the best tenant for this property. Um, rent values, Karen, um, we've seen rent values stay pretty much stagnant for a long time, um, not much growth in rental prices. Um, run us through a couple of basics, what people locally would anticipate rental-wise. Sure. So if you're um, in a new four-bedroom, two garage, ensuite, um, dishwasher, security screens, it's got all those mod cons in them and the property's maybe four or five years old, you're around that 360, 370 a week rent and that's getting you a nice area of town, um, a good yard and everything very secure. Um, If your budget's under that 350, you're still getting a really nice three-bedroom single garage. Um, Units, units have been really popular for people that may be one or two people and they don't have pets and they don't have a big responsibility and they're time poor. Units, duplexes, townhouses, dual living seem to be really popular at the moment and you're paying that early 300s for them. Um, Acreage is still very difficult to get. (laughs) I know we kind of live in a more of a country lifestyle in Caboolture, um, but, you know, five acres with paddocks and and sheds, if they come up, they're extremely popular. People stay in them. Yeah, um, longevity of tenants usually. They anchor themselves in, they stay for for a long time. Um, What else can we talk about? Um, We haven't really discussed rentals or property management for a while, um, but for our viewers of 450 TV, Um, We want to just keep bringing you this local information and um, obviously Richardson & Wrench, um, a key sponsor and and powers um, this community platform. Um, What else is latest news? Uh, So in April next year, it'll be 25 years for Richardson & Wrench. So we've had a rent roll for that longer time. Um, I would say to you that something that's important in our market at the moment is dealing with staff that are well qualified and know your area. Um, There are still a lot of property management offices outside Caboolture that may not specialise in the area. There is a lot of us that are here, that have lived here, have children, families in the area. Come and talk to us. If you're a landlord and and you've got a property somewhere and you're unsure about the legislation, come and ask. That's what we specialise in. Um, Even if we don't have business together, our family have never shut our door and said to someone, no, you, you know, we want money for that or we don't give service to anyone who's not with us. Um... Come and have a chat, sit in the the conference room and let's just try and help you out because that helps us as a community. Yep, excellent. Um, The rental update, property management update, Karen George, uh, property management director, Richardson Wrench Caboolture. Um, Yeah, 26 years in the industry. Um, Yeah, so uh, you obviously love it, uh, but there's some some big changes coming. So uh, jump online, follow the links, um, the smoke alarm legislation and um, have your say, the vote on the review of the Residential Tenancies, Rooming and Accommodation Act. Um, So there you go, jump online. 
mind. Have your say. Um, don't complain next year if the rules change and you didn't um, you know, have your two bobs worth. So Absolutely. that's it. Thank Thanks, Kev. Thank you for having me.